YouTubers and money, two things put together that everybody fears. You know, Thanos with all five Infinity Stones, that's not a problem at all. You know, Darth Sidious with his lightning, give me a break, people. The real true enemy is when a YouTuber slightly overcharges for a product. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not slightly overcharged, but you know, what can you do? Oh, I know, make a commentary video. You see, a lot of people out there are extremely mad at James Charles for being greedy or selfish, but you know, you haven't realized it, but James Charles has actually recently been doing a lot of charity work for us commentary channels. But anyways, hello everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to the channel. My name is Fraser and I do hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Now recently, as you have probably realized from this title and that introduction, Jimbo Charles has been in a lot of controversy and once again has been forced into the spotlight and uh, not exactly for a brilliant thing. Basically, James Charles announced a tour called The Sister Tour where, you know, he does a live makeup show, he sings and does a... Uh, regular James Charles stuff. And you know, when the concept of this tour came out, it was all well and good. Everyone likes a YouTuber tour. I've got a friend, Will, who's touring with Stephen Tries at the moment, and obviously two of my friends, George and Alex, will be touring very soon. That definitely wasn't a leak. Now, the main problems of this tour began to spark up around the internet and create a bit of controversy when the prices of the VIP tickets came out, and uh, they were a little bit, just a, a little bit expensive. Originally, before the controversy, the cheapest ticket for VIP was around $99, not including charges or taxes. Now, for me personally, when I saw this ticket price, I did think to myself, I, I, I don't actually have a problem with $99. You know, you get to go to his tour, you're VIP, and I think you get a seat, which is, you know, it, it's not that bad. I, I wouldn't personally pay for it, but do I really look like a beauty guru to you guys? Now, the main controversy basically comes from the two highest priced tickets on the sister tour, which is basically $250, not including taxes or fees, so maybe around $280. And then the big old finale of the one which really annoyed a lot of people out there, the five hundred dollar ticket the most expensive ticket not <laughs> including taxes or fees and don't get me wrong people i know that that five hundred dollar ticket isn't just to meet james charles but you know the five hundred dollars five hundred dollars i mean that's not enough that isn't enough james you need to charge more than that. You need to make it around, you know, around $2,000 maybe? You know what, I was planning this for the future, but I'm just gonna get it out there now. I'm just gonna announce the Sister Nabs Tour, where you can only get one type of ticket, because, you know, I am all-inclusive. I don't want people to feel left out. So, you know, it is $2,250 for one ticket, and with that ticket, you get to go to a venue. Well, that's it. <laughs> What, what did you, what else do you think of me? I'm a YouTuber. I don't need to give you guys anything. So if you want this tour to be a real thing and you want to go to the Sister Nabs tour, just go below to the comment section and comment hashtag Sister Nabs because you know, I just want your money. So many James Charles fans are gonna be annoyed at that. All I can say is, uh, Please learn what a joke is. Now, as I said before, a lot of controversy was going around. A lot of videos was made about the situation and eventually James Charles did actually address the situation and alter some of the things to do with the tickets. And now we are gonna take a look at some of the prices and some of the things that you actually get with your tickets to kind of work out if it's justifiable for the price. But before I go into any of that, I just wanna say to James, it's probably not best to kind of shove the blame onto your coworkers. I'm currently talking to my team about the ticket price. I understand the frustration and want everybody to be able to attend, but please understand that this is very expensive to drive across the country with an entire team of tour and staff and to put on shows at huge venues all summer long. Now, I know for a lot of people, especially James Charles fans watching this, that may not seem like somebody is being thrown under the bus there, but to me, it kind of feels like it's a way for him to kind of justify the original price. And I know he has changed a few things, but that was before he changed some things I, and it was just when I saw that another tweet has been deleted I thought it's not good like I genuinely don't want to attack youtubers like this but I can't help but feel that tweet is shady and I think James knows it too considering the tweet has been actually deleted now I'm not exactly sure about the numbers when it comes to do with James Chance's ticket so what I'm about to say is 100% opinion so please do not accept what I'm about to say as fact 
please don't sue me, James Charles. But I kind of tried to run my own numbers and I took the 25 venues that James Charles is gonna be doing these tours at. And I kind of assumed, considering he said they're big venues, that around 2,000 people on average will be able to fit into them. So I, I took that and I took the average $99 ticket VIP price and, you know, I, I, I made the numbers and from this, James Charles makes around five million dollars and then if you take a look at the possibility of james charles maybe selling his merchandise at these events and you take five percent of a 2000 crowd based on 25 venues james charles if you were selling his 152 dollar brush set would be making around four hundred thousand dollars from that alone and i know these numbers are probably not correct but you can kind of work out that james most definitely is going to make a lot from this tour, and I don't think anyone is denying that. But to make it sound like you need to put these prices completely skyrocket high at $500 originally before you changed it, just... I, I don't know, I just, I can't vibe with that shit, I just can't. And I fully understand that that was a bit complicated and some people out there may disagree because they are not the official numbers. I have to reiterate that they are not, they are my personal guesses. But I think one thing we can all agree on is that it's best not to block people that criticize you, rightly so, especially your fans that are disappointed with you. So, James, why are you blocking so many people? I mean, you blocked Stephen Tries. Stephen Tries. Does this look like the man who you're meant to be scared of? Does this look like a man of fear? Is this the Thanos of YouTube? <laughs> it's, it's Stephen Tries. The guy's a comedian, man. Just, just learn to take a joke. I swear, so many LA YouTubers just don't know what a joke is at this point. Now, as I said before, James did try and come out and rectify the situation. He did try and fix a few things. So all I can really do is compliment that behavior. That's something which I can rate, somebody not shying away from a situation and actually speaking about it. No matter if I disagree with the blocking or disagree with how he's handling it, I can compliment somebody for actually addressing a situation rather than hiding at the end of a 40 minute vlog. And I'm not gonna say who did that, but if you know, you know. Updated ticket information. Hopefully this answers a lot of questions, comments, and concerns. I am sorry we disappointed many of you. We have worked very hard to put this tour together and I want it to be accessible for everyone and an amazing experience no matter the ticket. So as I said before, I genuinely can appreciate that. I rate that behavior rather than just blocking people. Genuinely, it is nice to see somebody address a situation and I've repeated that, but you know, it is a rare thing when it comes to YouTube. And I also appreciate the fact that he does want this tour to be amazing. And, you know, I have no doubts the tour is actually going to be decent because why would it not be? The guy is a very successful person and I can rate that fully. Just... Just don't rate this whole thing altogether. But yeah, he did change a few things about the ticket prices. So we're just gonna take a look at them now. General admission, $52, seated ticket, and randoms will be upgraded. Now, fair play, when I saw this ticket, I was genuinely impressed. A lot of people out there were complaining about the high ticket prices of $99, but $52, genuinely, I can appreciate because I know how much it costs to run these events. And I don't really think that justifies the $500 ticket price as I was previously talking about. But $52, I, I think that's a good price. Previously, uh, the other week, I went to an event called Insomnia 64, where I think day tickets were around 27 pounds, which is pretty much in dollars around the same price. So I I'm not gonna criticize that. I, I think that is a decent price. VIP tickets. $99. You get a meet and greet, you get a photo, you get preferred seating, and you also get early access to merch and a poster. Now, personally, I don't really think having early access to merch is exactly an amazing thing. <laughs> it's just like promising that you're going to buy more things. But you know, I'm not exactly going to criticize this one either. I, I do feel like that's not exactly too bad. And I understand a lot of people out there may disagree with me on that. But I, I wouldn't pay for this thing. I paid around £80 the other week to see 21 Pilots live. But I don't think this one or the previous was exactly that bad. But it's when you move on to the next two ticket prices where a lot of people still remain quite upset. VIP Plus. It's pretty much just the same thing as before. But you know, you get a goodie bag with this one and the chance to go on stage. But if I am being fully honest, I cannot really trust what a $100 goodie bag is because after Tanacon, after condoms in goodie bags, you know, I, I, I'm a little bit sus when it comes to these things. But if it is really $100 worth of products in that, then I can't really complain again. It's still a very high price and I still would not pay it. And to be honest, I, I wouldn't really recommend putting the prices up there. And I would say maybe just lower it to like 
$200 just to just to cool the air. I mean, even when you get to the $500 one, there is a $250 goodie bag with it, but it is still $500. And obviously, a lot of people are going to get upset at that. And I see a lot of people saying, well, you don't need to buy it. But naturally, there are a lot of dedicated fans out there which are just going to buy anything no matter what the price tag is because they love these influencers that they follow. For one, I I'm going to be releasing merchandise soon and it's not going to be $500 a piece. But, you know, it's a clothing line for myself and I feel like I probably have someone out there which is dedicated who will probably buy anything that I post. Personally, I genuinely just cannot imagine being in the world where I could charge people five hundred dollars for these sort of things like despite the goodie bags that's always going to be kind of mad to me especially with the fact that i don't know what is in these goodie bags like as i said before fair play the guy has changed and tried to rectify the situation but i think mainly a lot of people are just mad at how it was previously handled and the fact that he is still blocking people out there you know censoring people with opinions it's it's not the thing to do on youtube especially with the platform youtube itself the platform that you've been given to give your own opinion Opinions and you know free speech on blocking people it's just kind of saying fuck you I, I i don't care about the people that actually got me into this position in conclusion i will always find these ticket prices ridiculous no matter what you actually get in them i i just am bewildered by ticket prices being so expensive for youtubers and i guess that's the way YouTubers going, really. I mean, James Charles at this point is a mix of a celebrity and a YouTuber, but he's always going to be a YouTuber. You can't get away from that tag, and that's always going to be there. And, you know, you've just got to treat your fans like they're actually fans and not forget that these are the people that have followed you for so long. And if you're a James Charles fan, I think you should maybe understand what I'm trying to say there. I'm just trying to say a lot of people out there were disappointed with James. And to block them... It's just not it. To end this video, I'm just gonna say I actually am all about making money, but maybe just maybe just bump the prices down just slightly. I feel like a lot of people would be a bit happier then. And you know, then we can all, you know, drink tea and eat crumpets and maybe James Charles, you do not unfollow me after this video. Please. But you know, that is the end of the video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. And even if you disagree with me, that's great. Let me know in the comment section why you disagree with me, what your in general thoughts are. Do you think these tickets now after the rectification are actually decent? Or do you just think that James Charles is a greedy old American? Don't know why I just highlighted the fact that he's American, but you know, up for the Brits. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at Twitter, both at iNava and Twitter is at iNava TV. I'm always active there. Please go follow my Twitter. I'm almost at 60,000 followers. I would really appreciate that. If you do go follow me at Twitter, I may follow some of you back if you retweet the tweet for this actual video. In fact, I will follow one or two people back. So go do that now. And before I end the video, I am going to thank my Patreons. Big thanks to Emo Shoes, Alex, 8121XX, Alex, Anna, Aubriana, Becky, Brianna, Bugger Badger, Caitlin, Charlie, Jakazi, Clarissa, Diggy Nino, Godzilla, Hannah, Harry, Heather, Harry C, Henry, Inochi, Iriana, Jamie Chu, Jessica, Joanna, Kalia, Kate, Kath, Karika, Al, Leah, Lauren, Louisa, Maddie, Michaela, Mara, Mary, Megan, Mal, Meredith, Michael, Nee, Neve, Noku, Olivia, Passenger Shaming, Prince Leo, Quiet, Rockstar, Riley, Sadie, Scrubby, Tabby, The Bratty, Booty Club, Tonji, and Zombie Sazza. Thank you so much for playing to the Patreon. I actually met some of my Patreons at Insomnia. You guys were lovely people. And just in general, to the people that did come up to me at Insomnia 64, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. It was such a wild weekend and I will be at Insomnia 65. I really hope to meet more of you guys there. Thanks for watching this video and take it easy, people. Peace out.